Hello YouTube and welcome to this channel. This video is a continuation of the previous two tutorials uh, regarding how to calculate the uh, resistance of the two different materials in using DC conduction engine of ANSYS Maxwell. Um, in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show you how to interpret the results and how to calculate the resistance out of J current. Um, what is J? J is the current density per unit area. So if you want to calculate the J, A, I, basically, so first of all, resistance means voltage. We should know voltage. We should know current. We do know the voltage. We apply 10 volt on the top, minus 10 volt on the bottom. So we know that the delta V equals 20 volt. So what is what is needed to calculate the resistance between the two, pla two, two plates on the bottom and the top well, we do need the current. How much current is going through this huge surface? Current is calculated in J. So what we should do is we should calculate the find the J, find the scalar value of J at x at z axis, which is going through this uh, surface, uh, and then uh, uh, make an integral of that over the entire surface. And from that we have the value of the I, and then we have I divided by V. And then we got the conductance and one over that is the resistance. So let's go and calculate the J. Before doing, doing that, or you can do that by skipping what I'm doing, but I'm going to teach you something about coordinate systems and it's going to be something very useful for you guys. The coordinate systems by default is set in the 0, 0, 0, right? You can see that the very thick coordinate systems that we have here. Now, one thing you can do is you can change the coordinate systems to whatever you want in order to serve your own local purposes. So for our case, we want to be able to find, we want to basically come to this plate and make this face to be our XY plane. Once again, this is going to be our XY plane. It's not right now on our XY plane because our XY plane is sitting right there underneath. So we want to bring this thing up and make sure that we can actually calculate that um, in our XY plane. Or we can actually go in the middle and say, okay, let's, let's calculate the XY plane on the middle uh, of, this, uh, of this case and see how much current is going through the middle. So, so let's, let's cut this guy and see how much current is going through the XY plane when we cut it in the half. And, and, and see what is going through. So to do that, the thickness here is 1.5. The, the entire height is 1.5. So let's bring this guy, the, the, the coordinate systems, up to like one millimeter. So it would be well in the middle of this uh, seawater, for example. And, and then say, okay, we are in the middle of the seawater. Our XY is going to go through the seawater, uh, our XY plane. So if I do an integral of the current on, our, on, on my XY plane, I should be able to get all the currents that's going through this seawater. That's perfect. So let's do this. First, go here and select on offset or, or origin, or you can go to the modeler, ordinate systems, and then uh, under this uh, create, you can go to the relative coordinate systems, and then you click the offset. As you can see, it's the same thing that we have over here. So let's go with that. Select this. And I'm going to say the offset is going to be not on the X, not on the Y, but on the Z, and it's going to be one millimeter. So it's right in the middle, somewhere here. That's good. So let's get to our calculation for the field. I'm going to right click on the field overlay and select the calculator. You can find the calculator in the Maxwell 3D fields calculator. Um, over there, I'm going to go to the input and select J as our uh, current, and then make sure that under the vector, I'm going to select the, the scalar to be X, Z, sorry, on the Z. And again, I'm going to go back to my geometry here now. Now that I have my Z, J, now I want to have the, the surface that I'm going to do the integral. So I'm going to use my relatively... Uh, relative coordinate systems that I just create, not the global one, the relative one, and I'm going to go on X, Y of that, okay? I'm pressing OK on this, and that will be a calculation of a D, D, J, Z, D, Z um, over the S. So I'm going to integral, integral that, so you get all the current that's going through that, um, and, and you can now calculate that. Evaluate. By evaluation of this integral, you get minus 
um, I think it is safe to say it's minus 2. Okay, so it's minus 2 amp. How much voltage we applied? Minus 10 and plus 10, so it's 20 volt. And you have 2 amp. Re disregard the minus, it's just a sign thing for the electron. So we have 12, tw 20 volt, 2 amp, that's a resistance of exactly 10. That's what we calculate, we theoretically came up with in the, in the part one of this video that we are going to have the value of 10 and this is exactly 10 okay cool I think that will conclude uh, what we are trying to do and it was very simple calculations using only the the field calculator uh, if you have any other questions about uh, the field calculator I can uh, I can talk about that if you have questions about this particular designs put it underneath the videos relative videos and uh, in the comment sections I ask the other people who are watching this to also look at the comments and if they know the answer of some of the questions please go ahead and help your friends and get and answer the questions that would be very appreciated because I cannot handle to answer all the questions at once and I want to be able to answer everyone as quick as possible so please if you guys know the answer of some of the questions that people are asking and they are hanging for it just answer that and it will be a huge help and for me thank you very much for that if you have any other questions regarding whatever your design is you can send it to my email and we can follow up from that uh, point my email is as as, as it's shown here and uh, I'm trying to get you uh, get back to you as soon as I can thank you very much and uh, thanks for watching this.